Welcome back to my channel. I'm OG and we are gaming again. As you can see, we are back in Juno. And today we have a mission. The mission is to land on the planet Volko. Now, in case you didn't know, Volko is the innermost planet. It's really hot there. It's really inhospitable. And I have tried this mission eight times now. I did one little practice run and I wasn't recording. It failed. I thought it's not so bad. I can get it right. And I had seven more failures. Anyway, we have this glorious rocket. And I've been modifying it every time it fails. We modify a bit more. It's a three-stage rocket. I haven't tested this latest, latest version yet. Um, but it, it's small changes every time. I had a lot of problems with it earlier. The second stage kept breaking off and terrible things like that. But hopefully this one works well. The only thing I haven't really tested on this one are these solid rocket boosters in the final stage. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, capsule at the top. This is the third stage. And as you zoom out, second stage, and then the huge first stage with lots of solid rocket boosters on it. It turns out you need a lot of Delta V to land on Volker. It's very difficult. I'm not going to lie. It's very tricky. And honestly, I'm not even trying to land properly. I just want to get that achievement on the Steam achievements that says landed on Volker. And you can do that with a slowish crash. So my objective today is just to crash slowly on Volko. Throttle up, and then I'm going to blast off, and you'll see the, the rocket won't take off immediately. At least I don't think it will. Um, the thrust to weight ratio isn't quite good enough, so it needs to burn off a little fuel first. There we go, and the SRBs get up to power, and then we lift off. It's quite a good looking rocket. It doesn't look quite as good with these little SRBs on the top now. What I like about this really shiny silver rocket is you can see it well at night. Normally you lose them completely in the darkness. You'll notice now that I'm throttling back on the main engines and I'm going to ride up on the SRBs to save fuel on the first stage. So I'm letting the SRBs do the heavy lifting so that I can use the first stage later on for transfers and things. Otherwise it burns out before the SRBs do. This rocket needs to be shiny because it is really hot by Volko and honestly I don't know if the shininess makes a difference to temperature but I did have a rocket that was shiny in some places and unshiny in others and the shinier bits were a lot cooler. So I'm reasoning that shiny means cooler and this rocket used to break due to heat as well. Things just used to spontaneously combust. Um, I don't have solar panels on it anymore. They just kept igniting. And you also have to watch out when you go to Volko that you don't get too close to the sun because then things just all break. So I'm going to start the turn now. And for that, I need to power up the main engines again because the SRBs can't swivel. There's no gimbling on those rocket engines. I also have to watch out because the rocket tends to overshoot because it has very little gimbling thrust because I'm powering the engines up so little. So I have to do this bit by bit. As you can see, I'm flying this manually. If you'd followed my last video on programming code to get rockets to space, you'll see it can be done, but <laughs> it's not always worth the effort, especially not with such a complex rocket with so many stages. 
just about out of SRB fuel now. Yeah, come all the jettison boosters. We. I do love the visuals of this game. Obviously, the lower the periapsis, the more I can use the Oboth effect later. And that saves me more fuel. Okay, that does look pretty cool. Let's try the flyby. Not that one. Whoosh. It reminds me of that spacecraft in Spaceballs, that really long one that just keeps on going. Okay, so we are in orbit. Right, let's not waste time. I can start this mission very shortly. I want to go to Volko. Volko is near the sun. It's easy then to work out which way to go because you can see the dividing line between light and dark, which means the sun is that way. It's not always easy to spot the sun in this game. It's, it's that little dot there. Um, it's quite small. It's a very hot little blue star. And if I can go towards the sun, then I'm going towards Volko. If we zoom out, there's Volko, there's the sun. Okay, to get there, I need to go in the opposite direction to what my planet is traveling. That will lower my speed around the sun once I break free of Volko's sphere of influence. Okay, so I need to be sort of 90 degrees to this line. Sorry, 180 degrees to this line. So I just tweak it a little. And that should give me the most efficient uh, use of my fuel. Then I'm going to see what this looks like when I zoom out. What sort of orbit it's left me. And this is where I'm going to go. And I need to land here. I can select that planet. And I would like to try and create an intercept. At the moment, you can see this orbit is no good. This takes me way too close to the sun. That That is super hot over there. I don't want to be there. I need to be further out. And I'm not seeing any intercepts pop up. Up oh, there's something. See how the there's a little like jump in the line as it moves past this point. That is it being affected by the gravity of a planet, and that's probably meaning it's got an intercept here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's that's no good for me. I can't use anything like that. So I'm going to come further out. And again, this is no good. Unfortunately, the planet is almost exactly where it should not be. It's on the opposite side of its orbit when I arrive. So I'm going to swing further out into a wider orbit, which means I will be going slower than the planet. And I'll allow it to pass inside me. And I'll do a burn somewhere up here and try and catch the planet down here. Let's see how this goes. I also have this fear of the rocket breaking apart from all the times the second stage spontaneously just broke off. So I tend to just watch it and check that the stages are all present. Burn is almost done. Okay, now we see the orbit. Yep, it looks good. Now I just want to get away from the sphere of influence of my planet, Drew. OK, 
Okay, let's get away from Drew. Whoosh. And then I set up a maneuver node at the new, what is this, periapsis. And I try to create an intercept with Falco. There we go. There's something. Oh, just too far away. Just doesn't work. Okay, so the rocket is too far ahead. So what I can do is I can raise this. Well, it's going to be the apoapsis a little bit more. And that will slow me down more. It will put me behind the planet. And then I should get a nice intercept. So I've raised it a bit. And now I should have no problem getting an intercept. There we go. Beautiful. I would like it to be as close as possible. Oh, there we go. That, that's impacting. Well, I want to just off impacting. That looks good. Try a bit closer. The more fuel I can save now, the less I have to expend later. Uh, okay, let's go with that. So, first burn. I wonder if I can do this burn. Yeah, I can. On my first stage fuel. I'm still on my first stage. It is still there. Yes. Now we zoom into the next place to burn. At the next maneuver node. And this one should get me to the rendezvous with Falco. Ooh. Have I now run out of fuel? You see, there's nothing telling me to stage, but I'm out of fuel, so I need to stage. Ah, I can see the thrust is still up. And the burn is incomplete, yes. Okay. So burning now on the second stage. And now I want to get into Volko's sphere of influence. So let's just warp there. Beautiful. Okay, let's get properly into the sphere. And that looks okay, but I would like to burn again and just level my orbit out. Of course, at the same time, I want to put it into an orbit around the planet. Oh, 
Oh, th this is really close. I can't believe I got so close. Wow, that's that's quite amazing. Not quite at. Oh no, wait, never mind. I can get a bit closer. Okay, that's kind of okay. That's that's basically the orbit I want. Let's do that. Okay, the thing with Volko, as you're now going to see, is it is so bright that there's no chance of landing on the side that's facing the sun. I think this thing is tidally locked to the sun, and the one side always faces the sun, I assume. Because the one side is really molten and the other side is black and cold. Obviously you don't want to land in molten rock. That would be considered bad. And therefore landing on the dark side is the way to go. Unfortunately the dark side is really dark. And it's it's got a few mountains and things which, which means it's definitely tidally locked. Um, it makes it hard to land. It's it's really pitch black. Okay, this isn't the best orbit, but it will have to do. Let's take a look up close. You'll see this planet, which is really just blinding on the one side. And the other side is pitch black. Just for those of you who haven't visited yet. I'll show you what it looks like. In the really blinding section. Yeah, good luck landing there. As you'll see, there are no visual cues. It's just all brightness. Molten lava. So I'm going to try to land somewhere around here because I'm hoping to still get a little bit of light. So what I'm going to do now is a quick save. And despite using a few of these with quick loads yesterday, I still couldn't land. One of the problems I have is deciding when to use what booster, or when to use what stage rather. Because you can do a lot of the landing on the second stage. Um, but that's really what the third stage is for. The third stage keeps running out of fuel, and then I crash land, and sometimes I ran out of fuel with less than 2,000 meters to go. And that is why my third stage now has little SRBs on it, to take off the speed when I'm coming down vertically, backwards. I also have these little solar panels, they're not really there for anything other than to look cool. So let's just deploy them. There is a little bit of um, air resistance close to the surface. I think it's below like 30,000 meters or something. So there is a very thin atmosphere here. Right. Let's start this. See, solar panels fading because it's hot. <laughs> Turn retrograde. And burn a little bit. Sort out the orientation, if nothing else. Just make sure I'm not going to crash land prematurely in the wrong place. Okay, that'll do. Ah, uh, right, for this first attempt, let's keep the second stage on. And I'll get here where I want to start my landing. And I'll burn like hell to get rid of the lateral velocity. And we'll see what happens next. 
I'm going to do this manually. Oh, solar arrays, you such drama queens. Uh, okay. Let's burn. Trying to get rid of lateral velocity. Still got a bit of light here. That is what I wanted. Go away, lateral velocity. Go away. Vertical velocity is climbing now already quite low. So I'm just going to run with this and see what happens. Cut the thrust a little bit, just pick up a bit more vertical velocity. I've still got lots of space. 20,000 meters in this rocket is powerful, so if I pick up too much speed, I can quickly get rid of it, unlike with the third stage. Will I land on Volko? It's looking okay, but it's done that a few times in the past, and it has not been okay, not at all. Mustn't let that get too high. Right, I'm going to try to match vertical velocity to altitude. So 10,000 meters, I'd like to be doing 100 meters per second. 9,000 meters, I'd like to be doing 90 meters per second. That kind of thing. I am burning. Slowing down a little bit faster than I intended. Oh man, I'm cautiously optimistic. Remember, I'm not trying a perfect landing here. Just a controlled crash. One has to be careful of overcorrecting in a situation like this. People panic and they use overly large control inputs. And that can be bad. I'm going to turn my throttle down. That'll give me finer control. And potentially save fuel. Don't let that speed get away from you, OG. Oh, there's the speed getting away from me. Don't do the correct, don't do the correct. Oh man, I'm nervous. The lowest I've gotten so far is about 1,500 meters still with fuel and then obviously I've <laughs> crashed into the surface after that. Ah, oh, this is bad because I might have to stage at the last second and that is just going to be 
crazy. Okay, I, I need to stop this waving around thing. Okay, this waving around thing is not making me happy, so. I think I'm not going to have enough fuel to make it down on this stage. Maybe I should try using the final stage. Oh man, it's so tempting to just try this with this 2% I have left. <laughs> oh, this 1% I have left, I'm not going to make it. Oh, I'm going to boost, get some altitude. Stage. All right, immediately cut vertical velocity. Oh, it's a lot of good work just undone, but such is life. Engine is active, 100% thrust. Oh, this one has a far less impressive thrust to weight ratio. And as you can see, we are in trouble. I don't have nearly enough thrust to stay in the air. I'm going to try and cancel that lateral movement while I'm at it. I'm going to need to do a burn with the solid rockets in order to stop myself from crashing. I don't know what that's going to do to the rocket there. Oh man. I just ejected them. I realize I should have done that sooner. It's dangerous because they're still burning, but. Okay, let's improve my thrust to weight ratio as well. What I can't do now is let my vertical speed become really negative because my thrust to weight ratio is so low. I need to use up more fuel. I just need to burn until that thrust to weight ratio is positive and able to slow me down. At the moment I'm basically in an uncontrolled descent. I can't stop this vertical speed. Luckily, there's not much of it. So the SRBs worked well. That was a good idea. I'm happy I put those on. I can make them smaller, I see. Oh, there they come. Okay, so now I'm going to throttle down a little. Pick up a bit of speed.
Oh, 3,000 meters, three quarters of my fuel left. Sorry, two thirds of my fuel left. Let's speed up a bit more. If I come in too slowly, I'm definitely going to run out of fuel. Two thousand meters. Am I coming in too fast? Oof. I'm not really feeling very happy about this. This could get a bit close. See, it's really, really dark. I could bring up the nav ball, but that's not really going to help at all. My lateral speed is a bit higher than I'd like it to be. Cancel the lateral. Try to cancel the lateral. Three hundred meters to go. Velocity is about ten meters per second. I'm feeling good about this. Two hundred meters to go. Natural speed is not much. One hundred meters. Let's get my velocity less than five meters per second. Twenty meters. Achievement unlocked. Landed on Volco. Do you see that? Do you see that? I am lying on the surface of Volco. Yay! Open the hatch. Everyone get out and have a party. Hang on. Do I have anyone in here? I don't know. I, I don't even know how to get someone out if they are in there. Crew. Crew. No, I, I don't know. Anyway. The mission has been achieved. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I have proven it can be done. Please join me for the next adventure. Okay, here's some bonus content. Can I take off again? Vertical. Whoosh. Nothing happening. Come on, thrust to weight ratio. Get me in the air. Do something. It's not moving. Uh, uh, turn up the power. Still not moving. Come, little rocket. You can do it. I'm on quite a steep hill. What if I do this? Just, just push yourself along. Push yourself along. There we go. 
Get some speed. That's it. Run up the hill. Here we go. Here we go. That's it. Now burn. Uh oh. What happened? Something exploded. Firing the capsule. Well, I took off. Ha! I did. You all saw that. Amazing.